Hey everybody, Mike with Games Play Badly. And on this episode of Session Zero, I have Ayas, who is a developer uh, and has already launched a very successful Kickstarter campaign for a virtual tabletop that includes not only 2D elements, which you can bring in, but also 3D elements. So it's pretty incredible. You'll see some footage while uh, we, I talk to him. Uh, what we're talking about today mainly is his treasure hunting adventures that are going to be released here uh, in a matter of hours, I think. And uh, there will be available as part of a Kickstarter. Uh, you can either print those elements out or you can bring them into your favorite VTT, including theirs. Uh, and their VTT is called RPG Stories. And it is incredible. It really is. It's a game changer. Uh, I can't wait for you to get a chance to meet him. That interview starts now. Hey, Ayas, how are you? Hello, Mike. I'm perfectly fine. Um, hello from London, and hello to your beautiful audience. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Everyone say hello. <laughs> you already had a successful Kickstarter for your VTT called um, RPG Stories. That's and uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about that before we get into your next Kickstarter? Yeah, um, so RPG Stories is a 3D world builder with T. Um, we came up with the idea like seven months ago and we were trying to find out what exactly we want to do because the idea was we want to start a small team, a company that will produce software around TTRPGs. Um, and we came up with RPG Stories, which basically is a massive 3D world builder where you can build um, any environment you want for all eras of RPG. So, you know, medieval fantasy, like D&D, Pathfinder, things like that, uh, modern horror and sci-fi. So we cover all three eras. Um, we are really, really proud about um, RPG Stories because we um, introduce a new design in world building where basically the users are able to do everything in um, automatic ways, let's say, with really simple and fast drag and drops, or just give me a scene, give me a dungeon, give me something like that in 3D. But we also give the, the exact same props and the exact same uh, walls and floors uh, for the user to put them manually so they can create whatever they want, because we understand that there are two types of dungeon masters, basically. Mm -hmm. The ones who want to do it fast and move and go and play, and others who like to spend hours and hours creating world. And the second part of the project is the virtual tabletop, basically where you can match make, bring your friends in and play. So we got 350% funded this mm -hmm. October. Our promise was to deliver everything by October, 2023, a year later, mm -hmm. um, but we lied. <laughs> so we, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we, in a we good did, way, in a good way, in a good way. Yeah. We, um, delivered the keys to our backers a month ago, mm -hmm. uh, via steam, obviously, uh, we delivered of the, of the whole world builder and now we're doing weekly update with new models as we work on the VTT part. Um, which we really like, you know, because when you, when you produce a software or a game, the, the build the company has is like one or two months ahead from the mm -hmm. build that they give. So we really enjoy the process. Um, and that was our first step and our first project in the industry. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're really proud of it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, it looks absolutely stunning it really does i mean from the standpoint of the closest thing you can get to a dnd &D video game <laughs> it is absolutely beautiful yeah i mean um, i get sorry to interrupt i get that because you know uh, when you see a trailer or you see videos or the devlog you see all these amazing things but i want to explain something first of all we allow um 2d games in rpg stories so you are free to upload your 2D map, turn in, into top view, add your tokens and play, and mm -hmm. use all the features like, you know, fog of war, dice, things like that. The reason we, we allow 2D is because there are basically two reasons. First of all, we understand that many people have 
invested a lot of money to 2D maps for many, many mm-hmm. years and a lot of mm-hmm. hours creating 2D maps. Uh, that's the, the, the first reason. The second reason we do it um, is that we wanted um, RPG stories to be uh, open for everyone. So mm-hmm. by supporting 2D images, we support the 2D world builders, for example. Mm-hmm. Sure. At the same time, all our exports, um, you can create a map and export it in 2D if you want, if you don't want to play in 3D and mm-hmm. go and play to another VTT. Mm-hmm. So we have this policy that everyone needs to be united and, you know, work together. Um, that's the first thing I want to say. And even when it comes to 3D, mm-hmm. um, yeah, it kind of looks like a video game. You can play, uh, your Dungeons Dragons game or any, basically, uh, tabletop RPG game in like this video 3D mode using cameras and things like that. But you mm-hmm. can always use, set the camera in one position and play exactly as you play, let's say, for example, in Roll20, you just mm-hmm. see the things in 3D, um, because we want to respect the, the actual gameplay. We understand sure. that other parties are faster when they play and they just want to roll the dice and move on. Um, but we also give like the special tools to the dungeon master, you know, to create cinematic videos and put the effects and do whatever with animation. <laughs> right. Uh, so it's, it's very flexible. Yeah. And so, yeah. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I just wanted to say that we are, I'm, I'm, as a director, I feel really lucky because um, all the members of the team, all the devs and the artists used to work in the video game industry, like uh, myself. So we kind of knew the process to create something like that. Mm-hmm. We weren't just, you know, devs that had the idea. Uh, we were experienced in video games and basically the the process and the production um funnel that you uh, follow, it's, it's the same thing. Mm-hmm. And we're really happy that we are on schedule and, you know, we exist out there. Actually today, just to share it, I, I, I was watching a video, uh, about the audio madness, uh, you know? Oh yeah, sure. Uh-huh. And from a, I don't want to say, but it was like a, a famous YouTuber and he was mentioning us as antagonist to D and D one. And I was like, whoa, how on earth did this happen? Uh, so yeah, we're, we're really proud and we are really happy that our fan base really loves what they see, even when we are still in early access. So mm-hmm. everything goes well. Yep. Well, um, kind of to, to build off that, you are coming out with um, your new Kickstarter for uh, three treasure hunting adventures, right? So tell me more about this because uh, from, uh, from what I'm looking at, it looks like some amazing adventures that you can play. And on top of that, you can bring it all into your VTT if you want to. Yes. So, um, we always wanted to also, you know, create content as authors and not only just for the VTT or just software. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and our initial idea was to run a Kickstarter campaign by June or July, introducing a homebrew world, uh, which we test and we play for many, many years because the whole team is, you know, we're friends and we used to play. Um, so that was the idea to introduce, uh, like during the summer, our homebrew world, but, um, we have like a good relation after our first success, we have like a good relationship with Kickstarter. They notified us about this Zine Quest, um, event that they're running. Mm-hmm. Basically they, um, invite content creators to create small zine editions mm-hmm. and the word zine comes from the magazine. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that, we couldn't say no. And since we had, we had delivered the keys already, we were okay to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, because we always want, you know, to be okay with our community. So we kind of asked the permission of our Discord server. They said yes. And the idea behind treasure hunting, that's the name of the, of the Kickstarter campaign. Basically it contains three written quests, uh, which the, the players, the party owns or finds a treasure map and they have to follow all the clues on the treasure map to. Mm-hmm. Claim the treasure. That's the logic behind all three quests. And we kind of 
introduce our homebrew world because everything is taking place in our homebrew world that is called Moonstone. But we also give like uh, advice how you can adjust to any setting you want. Mm -hmm. Also, we do not follow a specific rule system. So it's not like uh, fifth edition uh, computable or whatever. Um, we leave it agnostic for everyone to, you know, adjust to their own game and to their mm -hmm. own system. Um, and to be perfectly honest, that didn't came because of the, of the OGL madness. It was always our perspective that you don't need to give like the stats of the monsters in a quest. Everybody knows the stat of a skeleton or of a dragon. They <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. The book and find it. So it's better not to give the impression to the player that this is D and D only or Pathfinder mm -hmm. only. So we like that idea. And this is how we go. Um, obviously, in our stretch goals, um, we promise that we're going to implement all these quests to the VTT and we're going to create special tokens for these particular quests. And the, uh, the art style we're following is old school because I still play second edition, as you can see here. <laughs> yeah. um, so we, we, we are following like a, a black and white style um, with rough sketches, like mm -hmm. used to be in the first editions. Oh, yeah. Uh, Although it, I must admit, it's harder than I thought because, you know, you, when you're not an artist, because I'm just the director, you think like it's easier, but it's not mm -hmm. after all. Mm -mm. Uh, and we, we are really pleased with the art style because it's a lot of fun to, you know, create um, nice images around the, the stories and showcase that in your small edition. Mm -hmm. And the idea for, for the quest to be treasure maps and based on treasure hunting was because we were playing D and D, uh, second edition, a D and D basically with my friends and I, I, they found the treasure and I went to the, uh, dungeon master guide. I rolled for the treasure and the result was a treasure map. So <laughs> they got really excited. Oh, we found the treasure map. Maybe we can, mm -hmm. you know, skip a little bit, the main campaign and go find this treasure. So when we finished the game, I was sitting alone thinking like, oh my God, I now have to create a treasure map because, you know, <laughs> it wasn't planned. Um, yeah. And I thought that, yeah, this is it. I'm going to create three treasure hunting quests for every DM out there that has the same problem that, you know, their party is going to find a treasure map and then they need to sit down and create it. So that was the idea. Um, and we... Our motto as RPG stories, when we were running this huge Kickstarter campaign like months ago, it was RPG stories. It's all about your stories. That's what mm -hmm. that was the, the marketing line. Right, right. We really believe in it. And that's why we give all our exports commercial free because it's all about your stories. So mm -hmm. the whole idea was that we create the software, you create the stories, everyone is mm -hmm. happy, do whatever we, you want with them. Um, and now the motto is that this is about our stories because these stories are the stories we are playing now uh, mm -hmm. all together and we want to share with people. And we really hope that, you know, our audience or new backers will come and support this content because it's our first attempt as authors and not as a software company. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Um, yeah, and we're a bit nervous, but we think it's going to be all right. You guys are going to do great. I know you are. Thank you. I know you are. Yeah, you're going to do fine. And, and you're, from, from that standpoint, I love the idea of the, the, cause yes, the, the inevitable treasure map that somebody finds is always one of those things that it's like, okay, so that's even more content I have to write and try and figure out. And, you know, because it's a treasure map, you can't just be like X marks a spot. There's got to be some sort of, you know, some sort of obstacle there. There's got to be some fun, you know, to be able to get to, get to the treasure. So I love that. I think that's great. I love the fact that, you know, you guys are looking to bring it into your, into your platform as well. So that way people can visually see on the screen, what you guys are thinking. Now I know that the, uh, from what I, from what I was reading, everything is printable. So you can print the maps and everything. If yeah, you want, you to. can print the maps. Uh, basically I want to, I want to say that, that when you go to our Kickstarter campaign on, we launch on Monday, 10 Pacific mm -hmm. time AM, um, the whole art style is exactly the art style that this in addition will have. Mm -hmm. Now for the maps, we thought that it would be ridiculous to show the actual maps because then everybody knows. Yeah. What's the point? The whole thing. <laughs> and the point. 
So we decided to put random things uh, and use different softwares to create like random maps that, you know, uh, it will portray the whole idea. Mm -hmm. But what we're going to deliver will be handmade with the exact same art style as the, the pictures you can see. Mm -hmm. And since you will be able to uh, play this if you want, obviously you can get the, the you can get the PDF and the mm -hmm. digital copy, but you will be able to play it in RPG Stories uh, software. We decided to add a, a, a third pledge where people can pledge again for RPG Stories and also get the PDF and the digital So you can get the PDF and you can get the BTT all yeah, at one so time. So if you want to pledge for RPG Stories, uh, this is the second chance because what we did was like we um, finished our campaign by October. Then we had some pre-sales in our marketplace, but now everybody has early access and everyone that pre-orders from our website are not able to actually get the key. So they have to wait. Now uh -huh. for this campaign, what we're doing is that we are going to open again the, uh, the, the RPG stories pledge. If mm -hmm. somebody want to take it and we will give immediate access. So you pledge by 6th of March, the campaign ends, you get the key, you get to test and play. You basically get early access with everything yeah. else. Uh, so that's a, another benefit, um, uh, with this campaign. Uh, and we always like to connect the, the main thing with whatever we do. And we do that for, with third party content as well. We're trying to approach other content creators to mm -hmm. bring, uh, their work into RPG stories, either mm -hmm. sell it or for free. Um, and we really like, because we have met amazing people that they create. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Amazing yeah. stuff. Yeah. I mean, everybody, I, anybody who's watching this, who has either watched any of the previous videos that I've done or have actually been on. This is an opportunity to have your work put into uh, virtual tabletop. So, I mean, I think that's yeah, pretty amazing stuff. Yeah. To be honest, I, I when we had uh, our campaign, we made a deal with um, a content creator, not not a famous one or like a big mm -hmm. one, like, I don't know, Cobalt Press or whatever. Mm -hmm. So he said that I have a quest that I would like to implement to RPG Stories. Let's do some cross promotion. We said, yes. So now that we delivered the keys and everything is working and our save files are working, we went to a call, he sent us the PDF and I will, I started working on his quest mm -hmm. into RPG stories to build it. Mm -hmm. And as I was reading, I was like, this is amazing. He's a mate. He's better than me. <laughs> you yeah. know how it goes. Every DM thinks he's the best. And now that we are in the industry, we can see that, um, People are creating amazing things. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if I may, that was the whole point of the, uh, of the huge war and fight we gave against mm -hmm. the OGL because sure. this fight was given by the content creators, by people who love third party content and by sure. people with ethics, I guess, or all of them at the same time. Mm -hmm. So in my opinion, it's. Now it's the time to support third party content because absolutely, if you yeah. yeah. If you don't, then we want nothing, and it doesn't necessarily need to be support RPG stories or support our treasure hunting. In addition, there mm -hmm. are amazing content out there, so that's my opinion. We need to help each other in order to, you know, survive, move on because there are amazing things out there, and yeah, I'm really yeah, I'm discovering that. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that you're, you're, you're finding this stuff because again, out of the 50 or 60 interviews I've done, the content creators that I've met have been some of the most talented, uh, people on the planet. And, you know, that's part of the reason why this channel exists is to highlight those folks who aren't the wizards of the coast or the Hasbro's or the cobalt presses of the world, but they have genuine, amazing content, just like what you guys are doing. So, I mean, that, that's, I'm, I'm very happy to have you on and I'm, I'm glad that your, your Kickstarter is starting on Monday. So, uh, hopefully I'll have this video out by then, but, uh, that being, yeah, yeah. Uh, that being said, I will have links down in the description below to everything that, uh, you may want to know about all of this. And, uh, I cannot wait personally to try the software and to see what the treasure map uh, what the treasure maps are going to hold. Um, I, I, I think it's all fantastic.
Uh, I appreciate you coming on and talking to me. Um, I mean, it's a pleasure and thank you very much. What you do, uh, you know, uh, giving place for everyone to share the uh, content and the project is amazing. I mean, it's an honor. I, I really appreciate that. It's very kind of you to say. So I, I it, the channel's not possible without amazing people like you to be on it. So uh, I appreciate for I appreciate you reaching out to me. I'm I'm humbled that you would come to me, and uh, I cannot wait to see what uh, amazing things are gonna happen. You know, I mean, like the the treasure map stuff is just the beginning. It's just the beginning for you guys. I mean, you have an yeah, entire three D world yeah. you can build now. So, and I wanna I wanna say I wanna add something because mm -hmm. this goes you know both ways. For everyone who's watching this video, please go down to your right and subscribe to this channel because this is what gives life to a YouTube channel. It really helps for you. It's just a button, you have to just, just click. For the YouTuber, it's everything because it really helps with the algorithm if you subscribe and if you mm -hmm. click that like button. So if you're watching, it's free. You can just go and do it. And then maybe go to the description and go to our Kickstarter campaign and back us. But above all else, subscribe <laughs> to the channel. Oh, well, I I I can't couldn't say it better myself. Listen to the guy. <laughs> yeah, please well, do. Th 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 thank you again for coming on. I cannot wait to see how this all pans out. I can't wait to use RPG stories because uh, we have a brand new uh, group that I'm playing with, and I would love to get in there and start playing around with it. Uh, always love a good BTT, and I, again, appreciate you coming on, and thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mike.